Hey everyone, I'll be using guy here, playing the Pizza Tower. This time we're doing the second half of Western District, starting with Fun Farm. I feel like the first section of this is also going to be very easy for noise, since it involves a lot of changing directions from horizontal to vertical. She seems to be pretty good at Double jump. Got a totally different attack. Oh, hang on. So. Oh, wow. That seems very useful. You can use those hooks from any distance. Yeah, that seems extremely useful. Uh, I can probably get to that secret pretty easily. The noise. Say, so even though I screwed that up. Oh, right, of course, yeah, you can't do this dash grab kind of thing. He's got this, there we go. There it is, the Mort Cube. Ah, oh, yeah, that counts as an achievement, that's good. Double jump. Yeah, the double jump doesn't go as high as Pepino's version of it. So there is a bit of a trade off. But still, having a homing chicken seems like seems like a good time. Maybe this secret will be a lot easier than normal. This is one that I always really struggle with. Oh yeah, you basically can't fall off at all. Unless you forget to use the chicken throw. Let's go. 
Ah! Get the chicken, get the chicken. Always forget to get the chicken there. It's a perfectly natural thing to do. Wow, oh, we can even hit those. Definitely looking forward to P-ranking these levels. Why can he be killed? I don't... You can't kill him as Pepino, can you? I don't feel like you can. Anyway, on to Fast Food Saloon. This doesn't seem to be common knowledge, but there is a secret over there, just to the left of the start of the level, which is a bit odd. Feels a bit unnecessary, but it isn't a bad thing to go for. Ah, god, I hate it when you run into those bullets from behind. It just feels like, why, why is that a thing that can happen? Uh, it makes some amount of sense, but it's also just a bit ridiculous being able to run into the back of a bullet like that. It seems like maybe the way he jumps off the sausage is a bit different. Ah! Ah! Oh, there we go, just about. So far, I've managed to get 
collecting all of the toppings in my first go round, so it would be pretty annoying to stop doing that. Press that last switch. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is definitely a bit harder as noise. There we go. I don't know how I messed that up the first time. Down there! Oh my god. So he can kill the the horse. I don't remember being able to do that.
Now it's time to fight the vigilante. And I'm really interested to see how this is going to be different. Because, of course, as a Pepino, you use a gun. And in the Pepperman boss fight that we've done, you throw bombs as the noise. So maybe he's going to have his minigun, is what I'm thinking. Or maybe he's just going to throw bombs. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's certainly a different take on it. Okay, so I probably need to wait for him to dodge and then throw it. that really not damage him? At least the bombs make it easier to get rid of the other hazards, like ghosts and cutouts. Okay, good. Yeah, like, I swear, I'm throwing the bombs, and then he's not getting damage, even though he's clearly being hit by it. Like, feels like he has a bit more invincibility than the shows. Or maybe he just takes multiple hits? I think that might be it, actually. Okay, that makes sense. I think he might take two bombs per hit. So I have got the right strategy. I know I'm going to get d for this, but whatever. Oh, how is this going to work? Didn't even need to do anything! At least just cheated. time, move on to floor three. That's it for now. See you next time.